on yourself? Hi, my name is Chloe Sol. Um, I'm from California, and I'm at Arizona right now. Um, well, I had lost my hearing in my left ear about three years ago, and then last December I got a cold and started losing my right ear. And in the span of three weeks, I almost went completely deaf. I felt very helpless. And I have to say, being a physician and, and having all these years been helping patients, my husband and I felt totally helpless. There was absolutely, every week we would have her hearing tested and every week it would get worse. We went to the best hospital for ears in, in one of the best hospitals in the country. We really had the best specialists and it, and it wasn't getting better. There was nothing we, we could do to improve the situation. I, I, that, that was very panicking, very terrible feeling. We met Dr. Raw from RNL Bio through another f physician by the name of T.J. Yu, who is a professor of ear, nose, and throat at the University of Tennessee. And Dr. Yu was visiting my hospital one day, and he was there with members of RNL Bio. And uh, Dr. Yu found out about my daughter's hearing loss from the president of our hospital. And Doc, my, the president of the hospital put Dr. Yu and myself in contact with each other. And then when Dr. Yu started t hearing about Chloe's hearing loss, he suggested that uh, perhaps Dr. Raw and RNL Bio could do something in terms of stem cell treatment that might help her. We were skeptical at first. I mean, to be honest, we, we were, my wife and I were both physicians. Um, you know, we, we like to think of ourselves as scientists in some ways, uh, clinical people. And so we were very, very concerned about exposing our daughter to a treatment that indeed is experimental. Uh, and so we did quite a bit of investigation into it and discussion with Dr. Yu, with Dr. Raw, and other researchers before. And we only did it once we were convinced that it would be safe for our daughter to have this treatment. The thing that was, one, among the things that were reassuring about the treatment were the fact that the cells are coming from Chloe's own body. They are not, they are not donated cells from another, from another person. Uh, they are not embryonic cells. And they're cells that come from her own body. And so that, that decreases a great deal the chances of you know a mishap. The other thing is is that the research that RNL Bio has done on their own cell cultures, uh, looking at the possibility of genetic problems developing in those cell lines as they develop in cell culture, they have shown that there that the that there the risk there is no risk there, and so we were very uh, uh, you know confident to continue the treatment because of that. About two months later, um, midway through September, I started realizing I could hear without a hearing aid um, in my right ear. And then I was walking one day, listening to my iPod, and I felt like I could hear something out of my left ear. So I took my right iPod like speaker out, and I started hearing, and I was just screaming. I was so excited. <laughs> and the audiogram was remarkable in the fact that the improvement was, you know, one could say it was miraculous. Uh, the audiogram showed that he had, she had 90% of normal hearing on her right-hand side and 50% uh, of normal hearing on her left-hand side. So it's just an incredible response. Um, when, when I first got that phone call that she started hearing again, I... Like, I'm tearing up right now because I was so happy for her because she was so elated. And it was, like, to be on the phone with her and talk to her and how scared she was when this started happening to her, when she started to lose her hearing. And to, like, hear her, it came back. It came back. She was like, I just put in my headphones and I can hear without a hearing aid. Like, it was just, I was just ecstatic. And, I mean, I'm so happy. I cried then. I'm crying now. 
like it's just it's mm. just an absolutely okay. amazing feeling to know that something like this has really really benefited a person you love and i i do believe that that the scientists here in 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 america that are studying stem cells probably wouldn't be surprised but the rest of the medical community i think really hopefully we'll get to know about Chloe's case.